right. And you know what? We have so many in incredible health uh, ideas here for your family and warnings and alerts. And we're going to start with chicken. There's a new study out this week saying... You shouldn't defrost your chicken in the microwave. What, what? gives? There's a defrost. I, there's a defrost button on it. On the thing. I've done it for years, but apparently you're not supposed to be uh, doing that. Lloyd uh, Sadeko is here from uh, George Brown. George Brown, one of the finest culinary programs in the country. Uh, so, what do you think about this study that says you shouldn't take frozen chicken and put put it in the microwave? Yeah, I mean, well, the button's there for a reason. We thought. Well, yeah, the, the microwaves today have that convenience of having a button to push a button and let it automatically defrost. So we're relying on technology because we're so busy. But what we should be thinking about is what we're putting into the microwave, no more than two pounds at a time, defrosting on a power setting of 50% or lower, or preferably 30%, and then with that, you know, check it up to a period of five minutes and then immediately putting it into the cooking process. So the study was talking about, you know, the risk of the food product raising its temperature, starting to cook the product on the extremities, and then that also activates or brings back to life the bacteria that was frozen. So once bacteria is in the temperature danger zone, it starts to grow. And as it grows, it could in infect you or your family and be sick. And we, we can't afford to be sick these days. So how do you properly defrost the chicken? So properly defrost it, there's two other ways you can do it. And the best way would be in the refrigerator. So if we pull something out this morning and hopefully it won't, well, it won't be defrosted for t uh, tonight, but it would be defrosted for tomorrow. But, you know, somebody calls you and says, let's go for dinner and do something. Mm -hmm. You say, sure, let's go out. But at home, your chicken or your beef or any of your frozen products are in the refrigerator. You can use it the next night. So it's not going to good waste. Point. Okay, good. And what about just putting it in water? A lot of people will put it in a baggie, put it in water, or just put itself in the water. Well, if you're going to defrost in the cold water method, uh, you should take it out of the product, uh, out of the product out of the bag, out of the, out of the packaging, yeah. um, and then put it in a plastic bag. And putting it in a plastic bag, it does two things. One, it prevents the fl flavor from being waterlogged or the product being waterlogged. And two, any of the bacteria that was in the product will not contaminate the rest of the sink or the work Such area. It's a waste of water, though. I hate doing wow. that. I mean, just open up a can of beans instead at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like? No, beans on toast. Okay. So while we have you here, we thought, let's take advantage of your knowledge, and let's talk about something that's been in the news a lot lately. Yes. People have been saying plastic cutting boards, wood, wood. cutting boards, glass cutting boards so Look what's the best. what's the best way which one's best and which one what's so the best way to take you, care of it? you take a look at one from a cleaning and sanitizing point of view we would take a look at the, one of these two boards in here so in here you see the, the wear and tear on here and means that it the knife is ca causing or creating grooves in the cutting board and what could happen is that if you don't properly clean and sanitize you're going to end up with uh, bacteria in there so Every time you use a cutting board for beef, at the end of that, you should cha change it to go and use for your next product. So in there, to clean and sanitize, what I would suggest, you know, take it to your sink, take a scrubbing brush, scrub it, and rinse it, and then throw it in the dishwasher. So every time you use a cutting board for a different product, change the cutting Can't board. Can't you just do hot water and soap if you need to use it right away? Sure, you don't love your family, do you? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Professor. You're using this for meat and poultry yeah. and this for everything else? No, I would mean, at home or at uh, for, for, for ease of uh, cleaning and sanitizing, use all these. So you can go to a, a department store or, or, or a cooking shop and pick up four or five different cutting boards, different colors, and say that, okay, yellow's for uh, chicken, red is Good for idea. raw meat, and then do it that way. It's a great way to educate your family and to keep them safe at the same time. Okay. All right, wood cutting boards, yes, no? Yes um, and no. Yes, I love them because they're e easy to use. Um, and easy on our knives. So mm -hmm. the wooden cutting boards will not dull our knives as quickly as, say, the one of the plastic boards. Right for fruits, veg, well, right? No, 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 I still would stay with a, a plastic cutting board and the wooden cutting boards, because we tend not to look after them properly, we put them in the sink, they get soaked with water or we don't clean them properly and then put them away. The other thing with cutting boards, after you clean and sanitize them, you should allow them to air dry. So don't stack them on top okay. of one another because then the air won't flow through to okay. increase on the drying capacity. This is how I cook. <laughs> I always leave a towel See? over my shoulder. The mapina. And, and I'm constantly doing this. Yes. Okay. Is that good? Bad. Bad. Ah. Because what you're doing Don't is... Don't eat at my house, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're doing is, every time that you're cu coming in contact, say, with the chicken and wiping your hands and coming in contact with the beef and wiping your hands and coming in contact with the salad that you're making and then going back to Spreading doing something it. with your chicken, then whatever was in your cloth as the chicken and the beef is now transferred to your sa chicken or your, sorry, to your salad. And then you keep on doing that. So what would be a really good idea is... Thanks, Kev. <laughs>
<laughs> is trans is to reduce the transfer is you know I know it's a waste but you know paper towel you take off a sheet wipe your hands throw it in the garbage and every time that you're doing that is you're reducing the risk and, and reducing okay, wait, the cross could we not rate. also do this one's just for the chicken this for the environment no, see, and that, this one's just that's for just the a fruit pain and veg, can't we and then we throw these in the wash Yes. Okay, thank you. So then you're also going to have colored knives to, for one for chicken. It's going to be all sorts of different one. colors. Oh, why are you? This is complicated. So, so what I would recommend is that, you know, with our dishcloths or with our hand towels is that as you every day um, wake up and, and shower and put on fresh clothes, you should do the same with your dish towel and your hand towel. So in the morning or at the beginning of the day, get a fresh hand towel, a fresh dish towel. At the end of the day, throw it in the wash and start fresh. We need to have you back because a lot of us get sick and we never know why. This uh, is why. This, this is absolutely incredibly interesting. And one more quick thing. Uh, you were saying when you have something that is frozen yes. and it's still in the package, yeah. Take, take, take it, it out of the package because you don't want, uh, when you're doing the defrosting, especially in the microwave, you don't want the chemicals to heat up from the plastic packaging and transfer to your food product. Uh -huh. And that's what we're more worried about today. So and don't put that in the microwave. Ice on it, too many ice crystals? Too many ice crystals Throw means it that it, sh it was compromised and it should be thrown out. Oh my gosh, we're just scratching the surface, pun intended, but we'll have to have <laughs> you back. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Don't defrost your chicken in the microwave. We didn't even get to store it. Let's eat. No. Let's leave for 24 hours.